29 degrees, snow and sleet expected later in the day here at the New Jersey Meadowlands for the second meeting of the season between the Jets and the Dolphins. The Jets at six and five. Buffalo with that Thanksgiving Day loss in Detroit now six and six. They all vie for the lead. Coming off the three interceptions last week comes in as the nickelback. Here's Saxon. Right in the tackle. It's a third and three. Marino after the pump goes long. Intended for Irving Fryer. Checks in. They open up with a double tight end alignment with Mitchell and Thornton. Play action. And Asias is able to connect with Thornton. Against the Jets, despite playing with a sore knee, it's a third down and 13. Former off the roll, could not find anyone, and now able to connect with Monk. And I know Boomer has been trying to have that type of atmosphere pervade right throughout the week. This is the eighth play of the drive, and Asias completes for the first down with Rod Moore. Now we have more variations in Miami. We'll see a different offense today. Asias looking deep. Is able to hook up with Rob Ball inside the 10. The tackle by the free safety Gene Atkins in this first quarter. 85 more in motion. And Asias and looking for more has it. More settled for the field goal with 3.51 remaining in this first quarter. And Lowry puts it through. 3.36 to try to improve that. And they'll start from their 31. Marino getting the protection and able to connect with Irving Fryer, who broke the tackle. Number 56 on the season for Fryer. First down at the 44, play action, and Marino is picked off by James Hasty. Hasty looking for the running room. And Hasty runs it out of bounds. After stopping surgery, but he worked very hard to get back into it. He's played well recently. And Asiasen completing on first down to Moore. First down at the 33 as we come up on two minutes remaining in the first. Quick release by Asiasen finding Monk at the 14 with a minute and a half remaining in this first quarter. Asiasen rifles it, completing to Anderson. The ball was knocked loose. And the ruling is that he was down off the Jets. Asiasen gets it away to the end zone. And up three nothing that's not a good sign they are the worst in the national football league them scoring against the inside the 20 inside the red zone this a drive that began with the james hasty interception of dan marino and it's back to the ground backs to trying again they are less than a yard away that's more in motion and asias are looking to throw he does with the diving catch, and let's see where they spot it. He's short of the goal line. He did not look like he uh, did not realize where he was. Quick release by Marino and completes to Saxon. The ball was jarred loose. It is short. Air underneath it. The defense or the offense can get down there. And this is handled by Hicks at the 43, and he is taken down. Third and ten at the 35. And Asiasen connects with Monk, but only a short pickup. Fourth down and seven. The Jets are going for it at the Miami 32-yard line with 11.35 to go in this second quarter. Boomer just called an audible because he read the safety glitch. And it's a long count. Asiasen floats it. Over the head. Now a third down and nine. Again in trouble. And is able to go deep. Intercepted by Brian Washington. Stepping in front of Mike Williams. We're trying to do it, but they can't get it done. And Asiasen completes. And the Jets now have a first down at their 44 yard line. Johnson finding the hole and ripping his way for a first down and more. The 39-yard line. And Asiasen's pass gets 
Jets have not been a successful team in third and one. That's the situation here. Play action, though. And Asiasen has a man wide right open. It's the tight end, Johnny Mitchell, for the touchdown. First down at the 39-yard line. And Marino throwing and completing out of the 45. Third and two. The Jet 35. Jets with a 10 0 lead. And Marino completes for the first down. A spinning Mark Ingram. A third down and seven. Out of the Jet. 18. Marino out of the shotgun with the time. And is able to complete. 245 remaining first half. Off the pitch. Washington getting to the football. Marino 7 of 14, 84 yards, but picked off twice by Brian Washington and by James Hasty. Right now, let's go to Greg In this first half, second down and seven. Almost intercepted, but Art Muck able to play the deflection. Second and goal at the three. And it is Baxter in for the touchdown. Well, that was the case last week. Don still upset with the job the, the line did protecting Dan Marino against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Marino with that. As he has made it back from the Achilles tendon surgery. And has... Wide open receiver and Irving Fryer. Right down, yes, defensive coordinator Greg Robinson loves to do that to keep his, his players fresh. Again, the completion. And he's picked up first downs in each situation. The completion to Ingram, and he's in for the touchdown. Good second effort by Mark Ingram. Trying to get away from Lott and Hasty. And it is a 10-yard touchdown pass for Ingram, his third touchdown of the season, and the Dolphins are on the board. I would think so, yeah. On the McGuire computation. So the Dolphins going for two. Marino to deep in the inside. It's broken up. Five yards. And that's the attempt on the two-point conversion following the touchdown. The Jets back to the offense. Nice play. Completes to Moore. Rob Moore nearly pulled away. Has a third down and three at the Miami 29. Goes to the pitch to Anderson. Anderson is kept away. It's a loss. It is a fourth and four, and the Jets will go for it. They lead the Dolphins 17 to six. Four and a half left in the third quarter. Asiason will throw. To Mitchell for the first down. Enjoying the pickup of that fourth down. Picking up the first down as uh, Siason finds it off the man again. And Johnny Mitchell, and he's in for the touchdown. That's on the eve of the Minnesota game. Boomer received a call from his, his sister who. As uh, Marino is able to fire and complete to Irving Fryer in this third quarter. First down to Marino. Caught and a beautiful catch by Ingram. Ingram slips down, gets back up. The ball is there. Hasty knocks it up in the air out of Ingram's hand and total concentration. Under a minute remaining in the third quarter. First down at the 17-yard line. And Marino throwing for the end zone. Second touchdown of the game. A 17-yard pass play, and the Dolphins are very much alive. Traffic splitting the backs. And he will throw again for Fryer. He caught it. And a penalty flag is thrown. And this time it is complete for the first down. 
The Jets 24, the Dolphins 14. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. Third and eight at the 36. Esiason and could find anyone and running for the first down. Aubrey Beavers caught him from behind and Esiason and Beavers had some words. Three minutes in, fourth quarter. Baxter with the first down. First down at the 29-yard line. Play action. And Esiason with the time. Flag for it and it is intercepted. Troy Vincent picking it off. And the Dolphins will get it back. Picks it off. Second down and five. Marino from the shotgun. Goes short range. First down for Parmalee. Dolphins making their way back into it in the third quarter. First down for Marino. And he is now on fire. The short flip to Parmalee has a first down at the Jet 28. The Jet lead is down to 10. And Marino throws for the end zone. Touchdown! Once again, it is Mark Ingram. That is his third touchdown of the day. Look at Hasty. He's trailing a little bit, but now he sees Ingram. Look, he sees the ball in the air. He just can't get there. The ball is perfectly thrown. It's a third and five at the 36-yard line. Siasen completes for the first down against the Vikings. First down for the Jet, 45-yard line. Mix up and a fumble covered up. The 21 with seven and a half remaining in the fourth. Esiason has it stripped. Esiason had it knocked out of his hands, but it's recovered by the center. It is a third and 25 back at the Jet 30. And Esiason goes down and lost possession once again. He came up empty. And it looked like the right tackle, James Brown, had a dive on it. Here's the deep man back at the 40. And a line drives it a short putt, fielded by McDuffie. The coverage, and he fumbles. The Jets have recovered. Five minutes to play in the fourth. Jets 24, and the Dolphins 21. Esiason gets it off, and it is intercepted. J.B. Brown picked it off. And J.B. Brown hit down at the 16-yard line. While the Jets play the Patriots in Foxborough. Second down and 10. And Marino with big play right here. Third and a fade over three from the 34. And it is incomplete. Intended for Fryer. Boy, and I'll tell you, Ronnie Lott just labeled him. Just labeled him. Jimmy Johnson going out there. This would not be an issue. <laughs> no, but... It has surfaced. Esiason had it deflected. They want the ball in their hands. This is the kind of games they just love to have. They're not going to shake it. Ingram is split to the left. He has caught three touchdown passes. Moreno goes to the middle of the field to fly field and get a field goal. First down at the 34. Marino with the time. Hits Mike Williams. Williams, 299 yards. Three touchdowns. Two interceptions. 19 of 25 in the second half. Out of the shotgun. Marino completes for the first down at midfield. First down at midfield. Here it come. Minute and a half to go. Another completion. Do have one timeout to go. Moreno getting the protection again, and he is able to complete. Nice move by Ingram. Seven catches for 98 yards. Second down and one at the 18-yard line. And Moreno completes inside the 10. Has a first down. Ingram again. Stopped by Glenn. Moreno's trying to get everybody on the line of scrimmage. Now he still has one timeout. They'll save that for the field goal. If they have to. We are seeing another spectacular effort by Marino who fires. Touchdown! You know what the 
Jets were thinking? He's going to take the ball and throw it into the ground. They he stopped. They all stopped. If you take a look at it, the offensive linemen, all they did was stand up. And Marino says to Ingram, I mean, that's the communication that they have. You saw fire on the two-point conversion. Tell Marino from the back of his hand, hey, throw the ball to me. Now, here's Ingram for his fourth touchdown. They just, I mean, this is a beautiful play. They catch the Jets napping. They're just standing there. He just, he's just letting these guys know, you know, we're good. He's putting his hand out, but that's the communication he has with Ingram. And there, the guys are standing around. Fraze is the only guy that rushes. And, and there's Glenn. He's really not paying much attention. He thinks he's going to drop the ball down. The Jets led 24 to 6. Look at those numbers. And he was intercepted twice. They start from the 36. Boomer looking, sideline, looking for the catch and to stop the clock, and he does. And here it's wide open. Siasen looking to the other side and incomplete. Siasen goes to the middle of the field for Mitchell and he stopped at the 35. So it has come down to this six seconds to go. Siasen looking in zone and fires it way out of the end zone. And that will wrap it. The Miami Dolphins with a dramatic come from behind victory. What a duel between those two. Dan Marino and Boomer Esiason. This will go down alongside a number of wild confrontations between the Jets and the Dolphins.